so hello guys welcome in this quick video we'll see what all markings that shall be present in ECDIS with respect to passage plan which are checked by the vetting inspectors so here i have listed out markings which i believe are minimum markings that shall be present on ECDIS when you are appearing for any vetting psc or cdi and on top of these if you want to add on some other markings of course that is obviously a better thing to do so let's start so generally a third party inspector when they come on board they will check your arrival port markings they do not check departure port marking most of the time unless your departure and arrival ports are very close by so make sure at least these markings are present on your arrival ports then make sure that you have no go area marking in your chart and these one hour notice to engine room and call master points these also shall be marked also port call points and the channel on which they have to be called these also shall be marked and same to be recorded in your deck logbook or vhf logbook call master end of sea passage security level watch keeping level and position fixing interval these shall be marked on each waypoint each leg these things shall be marked security level is very important it shall be marked because the vetting inspector will definitely check whether you have marked your security level and whether it is recorded in your passage plan as well or not so whenever there is a change of watch keeping level watch keeping level 3 4 2 whatever is your company policy that shall be present on your ecdis near to that waypoint so this is a requirement that near every waypoint these things must be present security level watch keeping level and position fixing interval and method so make sure those things are present so as you can see no go area markings we have done manual plotting when you are closer to land make sure you are start doing your manual plotting because this is also very important they will definitely check 15 nautical mile to 20 nautical mile from there you can start putting your manual position then abort point and contingency anchorages those also shall be marked generally abort point is marked after pilot unless it is a special area means depending if pilot boarding ground is too in too much inside so there we cannot enter it but otherwise abort point is generally after pilot become point or pilot boarding ground make sure pi lines are marked on each waypoint when we are close to land pi shall be marked on each waypoint then as you can see keep clear we have marked over here this pi line is very important i have seen generally vetting inspector focusing on that so make sure pi line is there radar conspicuous objects if they are or area or land that shall be marked so here also you can see i have marked pi so in each waypoint closer to land i am marking pi that is a big remark because they would definitely check this and other than that this normal no go area and all so here i have marked the contingency anchor so this is minimum marking other than that monitor you can see leading lights and uh, reduce speed keep in the center of channel these markings can be present in your uh, charts and other than that there are many other such markings like uh, what is the tide tidal direction what is the high tide timings if you want when if there are vertical clearance if there are any bridges or something what what will be your vertical clearance these all markings can you can mark on charts